Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran إِذَا الشَّمْسُ كُنْوِرَتْ When the sun will lose its light or when the sun will roll into a into a strange type of ball it's already a ball now but what Allah is telling us it will lose its light and its power it will eat itself away إِذَا الشَّمْسُ كُوِّرَتْ وَإِذَا النُّجُومٌ كَدَرَتْ And when the stars will lose their position or will collide with one another وَإِذَا الْجِبَالُ سُوِّرَتْ When the mountains will be made flat and equal in level So the mountains are now different levels, right? So Allah says سُوِّرَتْ means they're made leveled Leveled meaning with the ground إذا السماء إذا الشمس كويت وإذا النجوم كدرت وإذا الجبال سيرت وإذا العشار عطلت and when beasts or camels camels that are pregnant will drop their babies in another verse in the Quran Allah سبحانه وتعالى says يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم O people O people guard yourselves from the anger of Allah or the punishment of Allah. Ya ayyuhannas uttaqu rabbakum inna zalzalata saati shay'un azeem The the rumbling of the last hour is something great, enormous, huge, unbelievable. If Allah says it's azeem, something unbelievable. Inna zalzalata saati shay'un azeem Why? Allah says يَوْمَ تَرَوْنَهَا تَذْهَلُ كُلُّ مُرْضِعَةٍ عَمَّا أَرْضَعَتْ وَتَضَعُ كُلُّ ذَاتِ حَمْلٍ حَمْلَهَا وَتَرَى النَّاسَ سُكَارَى وَمَا هُمْ بِسُكَارَى وَلَكِنَّ عَذَابَ اللَّهِ شَدِيدٍ Which means on that day you will see every woman that is pregnant her baby will be dropped she can't hold it out of fear. Every single woman that's pregnant. And you will find the people running around as if they are intoxicated, drunk, like a drunk person. But they are not drunk. But the punishment of your Lord is so scary and so hard. So Allah keeps on going, saying, وَإِذَا الْمُحُوشْ وَإِذَا الْبِحَارُ سُجِّرَتْ the ocean also will lose its balance. Imagine. And we all witnessed on television examples of the tsunami. That's only little examples happening now. Allah tells us when the oceans really lose their balance. Big tsunamis. And the... Imagine. It's un undescribable. When you hear these things... Mountains and earth lifted and crushed, the sun losing its light and power, and the stars colliding with one another, uh, the oceans losing their balance and their laws of balance and all that stuff. This only tells you that there is a terrible imbalance happening in the universe, in the solar system, gravity, everything, as though everything is reversed. As though gravity is being lost and everything is being reversed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also tells us that when he destroys the earth Allah tells us that every man will remember and what remembers do for him in surat al-qiyamah Allah swears by the qiyamah by the day of resurrection and by the day of destruction when Allah swears by something, it's something amazing. Allah says, لا أقسم بيوم القيامة ولا أقسم بالنفس اللوامة I swear by the day of resurrection and I swear by the soul that repents. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us that when you hear about the hereafter and the destruction, come back to your Lord. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala values you a lot. Come back to your Lord. 
نفس اللوامة. And then Allah talks about how He will raise you and how He will gather you. And then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, فَإِذَا بَرِقَ الْبَصَرُ وَخَسَفَ الْقَمَرُ وَجُمِعَ الشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ يَقُولُ الْإِنْسَانُ يَوْمَئِذٍ أَيْنَ الْمَفَرُ Behold, when the eyesight is taken to shock like lightning, meaning everything is taken away before your eyes like lightning, and the sun and the moon are joined or eclipsed, Allahu Alam, is this on earth or is this on the day of judgment? I'm not sure. But man will say, where are we going to run away to? There's no running away. Where are you going to run away? I read the, a Muslim scientist who knows a lot about the laws of physics and metaphysics. He had this theory. Allahu Alam, if this is true or not, but it interested me a lot. He said, when Allah, as Allah describes how the, end, the world will end and how the gravity will be lost and the stars and the solar system and the universe and he started talking about black holes and what are they and what happens there and where do they lead to and you know, all these things. He started saying things like, um, uh, when man says, where are we going to run away to? They can't. There's no escape. Um, it's not that something's holding him there. It's just that wherever they go, it returns them back to where they started. They can't go anywhere. As though the, the skies will be opened. And this is in the Quran. Allah SWT tells us the skies will be opened and things will be revealed and the angels will descend. What is this? What's happening to the universe? Where are we? What's happening? It's as if something's camouflaged, covering you, and then suddenly it's just released. And whatever was behind it is revealed. And Allah talks about something like that in the Quran in Surah Qaf. Uh, that's the power it says, And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says afterwards in a few verses down. لَقَدْ كُنْتَ فِي غَفْلَةٍ مِّنْ هَذَا فَكَشَفْنَا عَنْكَ غِطَاءَكْ فَبَصَرُكَ الْيَوْمَ حَدِيدٍ you, you were before this, you had a veil in front of your eyes. You couldn't see the unseen. Today, we unravel. We, were, we, we take this veil away. And now your eyesight is sharp. You can see everything. So Allahu A'lam. But there is a changing. And you will see the unseen. But what benefit will that be? That's why they say, Ain al mafar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran as well that these people that the people will say, Yawma yatadhakkar al insan, man will remember. They'll remember the purpose why they were here. They'll remember that they had to worship Allah. They'll remember that they had to prepare for this day. Wa anna lahu dhikra. Allah says, What's remembrance gonna benefit them that day? It's over. So when everything on earth dies, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroys the universe. I remember last class we mentioned about some scientific discoveries and theories based on discoveries they found now in, in, in space. Scientists say that the world, the universe will either reach a point where it will be stabilized, where everything will freeze, or they said the, uh, the universe will crunch, come back on itself like an elastic recoil, like elasticity. It recoils. Some say, it will keep stretching until it all gets destroyed and then a new universe will be created by another big bang. That's the, their idea when they don't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the Quran tells us there will be a destruction, there will be a collision, there will be a recreation of something else, but not by chance, but by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it's amazing how they say these things when they don't believe in the Quran. They're so close yet so far. Subhanallah.